Hey everyone, today we're announcing LiveBlocks DevTools, uh, which is a browser extension for Chrome, Firefox, and Edge that allows you to inspect your LiveBlocks application in real time. So let me show you how that works. First of all, you'll need to find a uh, like an example that you can run locally. In order to do that, you can go to Developers, um, hit Examples, like this shows you the uh, example gallery. There's like a ton of examples that you can try this out with. It works with all uh, all of them. So today for this demo, I'm going to use the collaborative spreadsheet app. Um, I've already run that on localhost, as you can see. And this is basically uh, like, a, uh, like a standard spreadsheet app that you can use to edit. Uh, you can sort of put text there. You can delete cells. You can reorder columns. Um, but the special thing about this one is that it's multiplayer, of course. So um, since this is a collaborative uh, spreadsheet app, let me show them side by side. If uh, I start moving my cursor in this window and start making some edits here, uh, you can see these reflected automatically here. If I reorder a column here, it gets automatically reordered on the other end as well. So this is like a shared document store. Um, so the data that you're looking at here is all shared. Um, the, the presence information is available here. You can actually see the other people in the room. If you open yet another room, you can see that there's now three people in the room. So this is your standard LiveBlocks uh, collaborative app. Um, but now let's inspect it so that you can actually see what's going on internally. In order to do that, um, you can go to our uh, website and go to product and then hit DevTools. And uh, you'll see this button, uh, Add to Chrome, which takes you to the Chrome Developer Store. All you have to do is just add the extension to Chrome and you're off and running. So let's go back to our app on localhost. You can now um, open the, um, the inspector panel and you'll notice this new tab on the right here uh, for live blocks. Um, I like to just drag that to the left a uh, little bit to get it like, easier to access it. Um, because this is the first time we're connecting, we have to reload the app uh, so that it gives a chance to connect to the, uh, the, the extension. Um, and what you'll see here is basically a view into the internals of the LiveBlocks uh, data that you're working with. Um, so let's start on the right. This is the, uh, the presence part. Um, you can uh, open and, and fold these things. And notice that if you click uh, Alt, uh, it'll just unfold all the siblings. Um, so let's take a look at me here. So this is like my own cursor. If I start moving around, you can actually see that the selected cell is being uh, updated here in real time. You can freeze that view if you want to take a better look at that data. Uh, you can actually see how it changes uh, as it's changing. Um, another subtle thing is that if you don't have anything selected here, um, you can still see these updates being highlighted subtly. Um, so data that as data that's changing gets highlighted, so it's a little bit more visual of what's going on. Also, want to show that if um, you uh, are in the view here and like other people are mutating their cursors, actually that's this user. Um, you can actually see that the selected cell for this particular user is updating here in the uh, others array. Okay, so let's go and take a look at storage data. So um, storage is basically uh, whatever the, the shared data in the room is made of that is shared between all the users connected to the room and that can get mutated by any and all people in the room. So um, if we fold this uh, in a little bit, Again, we can hold down uh, the Alt key or the Option key on Max. Um, and then uh, you can uh, take a look at what the cell data structure looks like. You can see that at the top level of the app, there's a live object key called Spreadsheet. Um, and then there's a, uh, a cells sub key here, which is a live map. Um, and then there's like a bunch of live objects here. And this is, these are actually the cells. This is just the way the data is structured. So for example, if you start making changes to this app. Let's change this cell to 1, 2, 3, 4. Notice uh, this cell 99 that will get updated. If I hit enter, you can see that the value is now 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, similarly, if I say it's uh, plus 1, 2, 3, you can see that the formula is now being stored in the value of this cell. So this gives you an insight into how the app is structured internally, like what data structures underpin this particular app. Um, and if you go to, for example, if you change this thing to a user cell reference like A3, 
you can actually see that now it internally uses this string to codify that information rather than referencing A3 directly. The reason for that uh, is that it now uses this cell reference um, because it's an indirection. That means that if we start uh, moving these columns around, there's only like, uh, like basically we only have to mutate stuff inside the columns index. Uh, and the cells themselves don't change if we do that. So this is why the, the app is designed like that. And that is something that you can really easily see if you just like take a view into this app. Um, another nice thing to show here perhaps is that if you go to the column view and you would like uh, make the column a little bit smaller or a little bit larger, you can actually see the width update. So another interesting feature is undo redo, of course. If you use undo and redo, it basically is like making data changes. And you can see that reflected here. Uh, you see these, uh, these uh, particular values highlighted um, and that's basically because it's just changing data um, the fact that it's coming from an undo redo operation is not that important it's basically just changing data so that's why you can also see those um, reflected as normal lastly i want to show the uh, the search feature here so for example if you have like all these columns and sometimes like you have this much larger objects uh, sometimes it's useful to just like take a view on just like one particular uh, property of um, of these objects and now you can like see uh, at a glance uh, like much more easily the particular uh, properties that you're interested in in following along um, you can also use these cell identifiers for these for example if you're interested in, in just uh, seeing the um, uh, the cells in a particular prefix here um, so you can you can basically uh, use that to get a narrower view on your data so that concludes my demo Please let us know what you think. Um, uh, we will keep iterating on this and add more features over time. Um, but for now, I think this will already make you much more productive building live blocks applications. See you next time.